everybody. Ramblin' Mike here. Gonna show you yet another amazing tarot deck. It's been around for quite a while. I think uh, these paintings were first set into the public view in the early 40s. 1942, if I remember right. It's the Thoth. Gonna show you the Thoth deck that I have modified. I always love this deck, and uh, it's absolutely amazing, modified. Can't wait to share it with you. Uh, a lot of people look at these because they want to see what all 78 cards look like. I'm going to show you all 78. A lot of people watch them because they want to see what this, what the Thoth looks like modified. Um, some of those old gray borders taken off of it. And uh, a lot of people watch these because they're interested in purchasing one of those for themselves or for a friend. If that would be you, all that information is down below. Send me a text. I'll send you an invoice. And then that very day, I will uh, smudge this deck, bless this deck, wrap it up real pretty with a bow on it. I mean, I'll send them out pretty. Put it in a nice box so it stays pretty wherever it's going to you. And uh, then get in my little vehicle and uh, take this down to the post office that very day. So, uh, it, it's, it's the thought and it's been around since the early 40s. Uh, Alexander, uh, our, uh, Mr. Crowley. Mr. Crowley put this together. Uh, Alistair, that's... The, that's how I pronounce his name. Alistair Crowley. You all know him. Uh, you get the slider box, which is nice. You can keep it in there. It has another box on the inside. It's a soft flip top, which I've signed because, well, I modified this. Hand trimmed by Ramblin' Mike. It's an amazing deck. He's an amazing character. If you don't know who he is, Google him. Check him out, man. He was amazing. Definitely ahead of his time. No doubt about that. Made an amazing deck. Uh, pretty much at the time that he put this out, the only thing that was available was the old classic Rider Waite. Um, the Little White Book is absolutely amazing. Totally in depth for such a small book. It's all in English. Definitely worth the read. I mean, every, every, every tarot collection should have the Thoth in it. Um, just a, a real revolutionary deck in its day, and it's still a revolutionary deck, if you ask me. It uh, comes with a little white book, which is power-packed, man. Worth the read. It does come with some cover cards. Of course, this is the back cover card, which I've signed. And this is just an extra that was put inside, which I've signed as well. Has that nice backing on it. And uh, it's got some... Uh, stuff here from Mr. Crowley, and he's deep. I'm going to try and keep up with him right here. The tarot is a pictorial representation of the forces of nature as conceived by the ancients according to a conventional symbolism. At first, one would suppose this arrangement to be arbitrary, but it is not. It is necessitized by the structure of the universe, and in particular, of the solar system, as symbolized by the Holy Kabbalah. And uh, that's pretty much the way the guy writes. He was definitely a very deep, interesting character, and made an amazing tarot deck that I am honored to share with you today, and how I have modified it. So enough about all that. Let's go through all 78 cards of the Thoth. Now, here we go. Here's our Fool card. As you can see, I took those sides off of it. A little off the top, a little off the bottom. Those little gray sides. And you can see our Fool right there. You know, with the cycles of life going around him. Just popped just pops right out of this deck. 
The backs came out nice. I love it when the backs come out nice. Here's our Mangus or the Magician number one. Our Priestess or High Priestess number two. Here is the Empress number three. with our emperor, very fiery, number four, the amazing Hierophant, number five, here is our lovers, and I mean, what a revolutionary card back in the 40s, I mean, one's black and one's white, I mean, Come on, man. This guy was way ahead of his world, man. And the amazing chariot. The beautiful justice. Oh, who doesn't love this hermit right here with the star in his jar, man, and the old cosmic egg. The wheel. Number 10, and he has a strength as 11, definitely, and these all have buzzwords on them, and this is definitely uh, the lust card for him, it's a strength card, I love that card, it's amazing, you know, she's just squeezing that, it's ready to, poof. Hangman, we all know it, we all love it. Beautiful. This guy was way ahead of his time. I mean, if all there was was Rider Waite, this guy just blew it off the charts right here. Still an amazing deck. Who doesn't love that death card right there? Amazing. And the art card, you know, he called it art. It's it's alchemy, it's temperance, the old devil right here, very phallic, the tower, still an amazing tower to me, love it, the star card. It just brought new life into this deck when I trimmed it up. Here's the moon. Here's our sun card with our 20 twins in it. The Aeon, which is judgment. And the universe, beautiful which is the world. And he's got little different, you know, it's it's a different style. You, you that know the tarot, know that the Thoth system is different. Um, with the Rider Waite, it goes the page, the knight, the queen, the king. Uh, with, the, with the Thoth, the face cards go, uh, the princess, the prince, the queen, and the knight. And they all have a little different meaning. It's worth the read in the book. But this art is just amazing, still ahead of its time, if you ask me. And it's a it's a it's pretty pippish. As we go through the miners right here, you're not gonna see a lot of people, but the pips are amazing. Here we go. There's the ace of wands, the two of wands. Here's our three of wands, the four of wands. I mean, I love this four of wands. Beautiful, you know, the circle, the four of wands, amazing. Here's the five of wands, our six. Here's the seven.
Here's the Eight of Wands. The Nine of Wands. And our Ten of Wands. Here's our first face card coming up. These are amazing. The Princess of Wands. Here is the Knight of Wands. Our amazing Queen of Wands. And uh, our amazing Passionate. Uh, oh, I got them mixed up here. Please forgive me. They are they are mixed up. So, please forgive me. I'm going to go back on this. I want to get this right. It is a thought and it is different. Okay, our princess. Here is our prince. That's an amazing card. Here is our queen. And here is our knight. Thank you for your patience with that right there. Off to the cups. These aces are amazing. There's the ace of cups. Here's our two of cups. The cups overflowing right there. It's beautiful, Pip. Our three of cups. Again, all the cups overflowing. Here's our four of cups. Our five of cups with the upside down pentagram. The cups are empty. Our six of cups. These all have buzzwords on them too. This is pleasure. Um, it, this is seven of cups. It says debauch or debauchery. Eight of Cups. Here's our Nine of Cups. It says Happiness. And our Ten of Cups. Now I'm going to make sure I go through these ones properly this time. We have our Princess of Cups. Here is our Prince of Cups. Here is our Queen of Cups. And our Knight of Cups. Move my finger off him right there. It's beautiful. Off to the Swords. And this is how the book, how he had them laid out in his book. His order for this deck. Here's the Ace of Swords. Here is the Two of Swords. Beautiful. Our Three of Swords. It's very nice, man. And two bent swords at the top. Piercing the flower right there. Our Four of Swords, the healing. It's really nice, man. Our Five of Swords, it says defeat. Again, the bent swords. The Six of Swords. The Seven of Swords. Our eight. Our nine. Which says cruelty. Oh, it's pretty rough and tough. And our ten of swords, which is very nice. I mean, it shows the broken sword through the heart. All the other swords. Really a very intuitive deck, but we all know that. Here is our Princess of Swords. I love these face cards. They're amazing. 
the Prince of Swords. The Queen of Swords. And our Knight of Swords. And to our Pinnacles, the amazing Ace of Pinnacles. The Two of Pinnacles. That's what's on the box and the cover and all of that. Very famous painting. Love the yin yangs in it. It's amazing. The Three of Pinnacles. It says work. The Four of Pinnacles. You know, there's a stability of it. The Five of Pinnacles. That buzzword there says worry again, the upside down pentagram. The Six of Pentacles, which it says success. The Seven of Pentacles, <clears throat> definitely a little dark, you know. Can be about working hard at something, but it not showing up, you know. Seven of Pentacles. Very beautiful Eight of Pentacles. I love the representation of Eight of Pentacles with this one, with the sun symbol up at the top. It's very nice. The Nine of Pentacles. It's very nice. And our classic Ten of Pentacles with the Tree of Life right there. Our Princess. A pentacles, he calls them discs. I absolutely love this prince of discs. All of his face cards are amazing. This whole deck's amazing. Here's our queen of discs. There she is, man. Love her. Amazing. Looking at that long journey road that you came on to become this queen right here. Love this deck. And the Knight of Dis. Such an amazing deck. I know that many of you have seen it, but I wanted to show it to you modified. It absolutely opened it up for me. It's been around since the 40s. I don't see him taking it out of print anytime soon. Hurrah. Amazing deck from an amazing man. Interesting man. Would have been nice to chat with him for a minute or two. Anyway, it's got nice card stock. It's put out by US Game Systems. Shuffles like a dream. I machined everything, rounded the corners. Everything's nice and even on this deck. Shuffles. Just like it's supposed to. All right. Let's pull a card, huh? Tara Love Team, what do you got for us today out of this Thoth deck? Thank you. Here we go. Let's cut the deck. What you got for us? The Six of Wands. It says victory. Hoorah. Six of Wands to me is about victory after the battle because of confidence in yourself. I love it. Hope you're enjoying this. Hope you enjoyed this modified deck. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.